This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Gus Tatlis, who is the chairman of the brand new Keystone Party. Yes, a new political party in Pennsylvania. Gus, good to be with you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, good to be with you too. Thank you for the invitation. You know, a lot of folks are unhappy with the two major parties. They believe either the Republican Party has gone to the extreme right, the Democratic Party has gone to the extreme left. Is that why you folks formed a third party called basically the Keystone Party right here in Pennsylvania? That is, that is absolutely right. We we formed um, the Keystone Party because the larger major parties have intentionally been um, divisive. They do it on purpose. They do it for branding. Um, they take the most divisive, divisive issues possible. They draw a line in the sand in their party, and they hold their candidates to that line. So they cannot cooperate on issues that the vast majority of us do cooperate on on a daily on a daily basis. We all do it every day, but the two major parties won't let their candidates do it. They they absolutely refuse to. So when we formed this party, we we um, developed it with a platform specifically to foster collaboration, foster collaboration with candidates from uh, from any other party, because uh, we we want that internal conversations. We want um, to come up with better ideas and, and get things moving in the right direction. Well, I know the Keystone Party has fielded candidates now in Pennsylvania for governor and for U.S. Senate and for a number, number of other offices. So people will see your candidates in the name of your party on the ballot this November. But what exactly does the Keystone Party stand for? Let me ask you first, and from a business perspective, where do you stand economically? Well, economically, we are a free market driven um, party. However, not just free market in the uh, philosophical sense. You know, we, we live in a reality where um, the way businesses are run, the way the economy is run every day is, is very complicated. So what we would like to see is in the um, state government section, because we're talking about Pennsylvania here, is to identify those um, parts of the economy that are hindering um, the the mark the the markets to function the way they should and and remove those, and then we understand that when also when you have something like a pandemic hit, you have natural disasters and things like that. Um, we accept the fact that the the government does have to get involved to some degree, a limited degree, you know. So like I said, we're we're a practical solution based party. We're we're not living in a, a philosophical world where everything looks great on paper. I know that you like to stress that you are a solutions-based party and that you have real practical ways of solving problems. Can you name, and we only have a minute or two left, can you name some of the problems that you think need to be solved that the other two parties are not doing? Uh, honestly, I really think it's government reforms. There are a, a mass um, amount of government reforms that bills go up every year that that most of Pennsylvanians completely agree with. And activist groups like March on Harrisburg, League of Women Voters, Fair Districts PA, the ACLU, they're, they're all advocating for these, they're all lobbying for it. And then the, um, the Pennsylvanians, every time you poll them, they already agree on it. But the major parties won't make any movement on them because if these government reforms like ranked choice voting, ballot access reform, independent citizens commission for, um, for redistricting, um, you know, making voting easier, part-time legislator, term limits, those are all counterproductive to the two major parties staying in power. So they're never gonna support it. So we wanna give another option there. We put it on our platform, if you vote for our candidates, you know you're going to uh, support those. And we're hoping what happens is we get more people who want to run under those under that platform. Um, so if you don't have a home, if you're a Republican or a Democrat and you're, you're thinking about running for supervisor or, um, or borough council or you want to make your first run at state legislator and you don't think those parties will ever support those issues, then you have a home here and you can run under our banner. Well, Gus Tallis, the new chair of the Pennsylvania Keystone Party, a brand new political party in Pennsylvania. Thank you, sir, for spending time with us today. I think people are looking for options and for choices. 
And I appreciate the fact that you're talking to us today. Thank you, sir. Well, thank you again for inviting me. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.